Hey there, it's Elliot. You know, I remember the sheer frustration of getting that iPhone locked to owner message. Oh man, it's like that clingy X that just won't let go. But don't worry, today I've got your back. We're diving into a bunch of ways to shake off that pesky iCloud activation lock from your iPhones, iPads, and even your Apple Watches. And the best part, it's all above board and totally legit. So grab your device and let's sort this out together, shall we? Remember, only use this info if you've genuinely forgotten your details for a device you own. Don't use it on stolen devices, that's not cool. We're sticking to YouTube's rules here. Now let's get on with it. So driving straight into the good stuff. Have you heard about some of the best tools out there that can help with the whole iPhone lock to owner dilemma? Let me share some of the big players in the game. There's lock to owner, which some of my tech buddies rave about. Then we have the iUnlock app, which a friend of mine used when she totally blanked on her access details after a long vacation. Total lifesaver for her. Oh, and there's also Safe Unlocks and Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. Now, I'm not saying these are the only solutions, but they've got a pretty solid rep in the tech community. Fun fact, back in the day when these locks first started to be a big deal, I had a buddy who was a pro at manually doing all this. It'd take him hours, maybe days. But now, thanks to tools like these, it's way quicker and easier, super handy for folks who've just forgotten their details and need a nudge to get back in. All right, quick heads up. These unlock services mainly work in first world countries. If for some reason you can't access them or you're not keen on using them, we've got a special offer just for you. We provide 250 unlocks every single week for our viewers. To get in on this, it's pretty simple. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Uh, comment down below with your device model, like iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you've done those steps, you're automatically entered, so don't miss out on this chance. Next, we'll guide you on how to use Unlock here. First things first, open up your browser on either your phone or computer and head over to unlockhere.com. This site is powered by a handy AI assistant that's going to help us with the unlocking process. Once you're on the site, you'll meet Nifty, the friendly AI bot. Let Nifty know you're there for an iCloud unlock by clicking on Activation Lock. From there, you're going to select that you're working with an iPhone, but just a heads up, if you have an iPad or Apple Watch, you can choose those options as well. Now here's where it can get a bit tricky. You need to enter the IMEI or serial number of your device. You might be wondering, what's the difference? Every iPhone has an IMEI. If you're unlocking an iPhone, go with that. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs, especially if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity, but if yours doesn't, it'll have just a serial number. Now, if you're scratching your head thinking, how do I find this number? Here's a quick tip. On your lock device, give the sleep button a quick press. Press it again, and then tap on the little eye icon on the bottom right. Boom, there's your device info. With your IMEI or serial number in hand, you'll then pop in some basic info to link the order to your account. Make sure it's accurate because you'll be getting a confirmation code sent to your email. After entering your details, there's a little checkbox to agree to the terms. Just make sure you're not trying to unlock a device that isn't yours. Hit start process. And now it's time to keep an eye on your email. Be a bit patient, but soon enough you'll get an email with a confirmation code. If it's taking a while, uh, sometimes these codes get a bit sneaky and end up in the spam or junk folder. Once you've got the code, copy the code from the email that you received to confirm your order and initiate the unlock process. Go back to the Unlock Here website to continue. Now pop in the verification code and confirm you're not a robot. After that, tap the button to validate info and start unlocking. Magic is happening in the background and your device is on its way to being unlocked. Almost there. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. 
Now stick around because we've got another method coming up for those who want more options. First up, you've got the root of getting in touch with Apple support. Now they're going to need a bit of proof that you're the rightful owner, which is totally understandable. The way to do this is by presenting them with the original invoice of your device. So you'll wanna find that receipt or digital invoice you got when you bought your device. With that in hand, reach out to Apple support, either through their website or by giving them a call. They'll guide you through the process and with that invoice as proof, they can help remove the lock. Now, if that's not working for you or you wanna try another method, there's a way to reset your Apple ID directly on Apple's website. Here's how you do it. Head to Apple's official website and find the forgot Apple ID or password section. Pop in your Apple ID. This is usually the email you use with Apple. Follow the on-screen prompts. They'll guide you step-by-step step to reset your details. Once you've gone through the steps, you should be able to set a new password and get back into your account, which can help you remove that pesky lock. And there you go, two different routes to hopefully get you back into your device. All right, so there's another way to tackle this issue using iCloud Unlock software. Now, this method is pretty cool, but there's a catch it requires a Windows computer. So if you're rocking a Mac or only have a mobile device, this might not be the route for you. If you decide to go down this path, you'll first need to grab some software to do the unlocking magic. There's a bunch out there, but here's the thing. Not all of them are the real deal. Some might not work and worse, some could be hiding nasty malware. Always be super careful about what you download. That said, if downloading software feels a bit risky or just isn't your style, there are online services like Unlock Here and Safe Unlocks. The bonus here is that they do the job without needing any downloads. So it's a neat, safer alternative that you might wanna consider. So here's another way to shake off that iPhone lock to owner issue, especially if you can get in touch with the previous owner. If the seller is responsive, this method is golden. Ask the previous owner to follow these easy steps to set your device free. Head over to iCloud.com, and have them log in with their iCloud details. Direct them to click on Find iPhone. Here, they'll spot a list of devices linked to their account. They just need to spot and select your iPhone, which might be causing that pesky lock issue. Once they've got your device highlighted, they should hit Erase. This step will give your device a fresh start. Last, but super important, they need to click on Remove from Account. Doing this makes sure their account doesn't tie down your device any longer. By doing these steps, you're on a smooth path to get your iPhone working without any hitches. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and we hope you got what you needed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.